everything pictured here is going to be part of my lunch for today. I'll start on this side. I'm going to make myself an, a hard boiled egg tuna salad sandwich. So I'm going to put a tablespoon of relish for one point, a tablespoon of light mayo for one point. The egg is a zero point food as well as the chunk light tuna that's in water, which I will rinse. I'll drain it and then I'll rinse it to get the salt out. The onion is also zero point as is the mustard. So this is going to be what I put into the salad. And then I'm also going to add some corn kernels, which are a zero point food as well that I didn't take out of the freezer yet. I'm going to use the sad whole wheat and flax, whole wheat, flax and oat brand pita for one point. This is the Aldi brand. And back here I have the makings of a salad, which is sweet onion and some grapes. I'm also going to have, finish off these half sour pickles. I love these pickles. So delicious. And then later on in the afternoon, I'm going to use some of my, well, you can see it pictured here. This is my parf strawberry jello and yogurt parfait from yesterday that I didn't eat at work. I'm just going to add a kiwi to it because the kiwi a day keeps the doctor away. So this is zero points. What I have in here, which is yogurt, jello, strawberry and two tablespoons of this sugar-free chocolate syrup is zero points as well a kiwi is a zero point food and as i said the salad my salad dressing is back here this is a fig balsamic dressing that i made this time also using apple cider vinegar and some garlic and herb seasoning so three points for lunch zero points for my snack and here is my lunch i made my pita into chips using some olive oil cookie spray and Mrs. Dash, and I put them in the air fryer. I like mine really crisp, so they're a little dark maybe for your liking, but again, we all have to eat the things that we really enjoy. So here is my lunch for today, and I'm off to do what I usually do with my food, really enjoy it. And dinner all plated for tonight. I have peas and carrots, which are zero points, and this is a four point dinner, by the way. The turkey is a rotisserie tenderloin that I roasted off in my air fryer. As you can see, that's the remainder of it. It's quite a lot. Um, I also plated up a lot. I don't think I'm going to eat all of that, but it is zero point either way. The stuffing, as I tracked it, because I did scan the box and a half a cup of dry is three points. I did not add any, any butter to it, so I just scanned it as three points. And then I have a quarter cup of bistro uh, made from great, I'm sorry, gravy made from granules. And this is coming up as zero. It has several people have put it in manually. I'm just going to charge myself for a quarter a cup, the same I would for Campbell's uh, brown gravy and leave it at one point just to be safe because I'm not quite sure. And I don't really want to spend the time now to do that data entry to figure it out for myself. So I'll just go with one point for quarter cup made. And this is dinner and it's three points. And as usual, I'm gonna go enjoy my meal now. Well, hello there, my friends. I am back to close out another day of eating. I can't believe how fast time is going. Pardon me. Um, the day went very well and so did the night. I did end up eating some cheese balls and some trails mix, but I did track it and I still ended up having only used 18 points for the day. And again, I'm not shooting to only eat 18 points. I get 23 and I also get those weeklies. So whatever it is, it is. It just so happens that's how the numbers fell. So I'm feeling very good, mostly because I am not panic stricken about eating cheese balls and trails mix because I think for me, my night eating thing will become less of an issue if it's not an issue. Does that make any sense? Probably not. In other words, it's not an issue because I had the points. It becomes an on issue in my mind as opposed to a catastrophe or part of me. Which is one of those, oh my God, I didn't, I, I, I screwed it all up. My whole day is screwed up. I may as well just keep eating and eating. And tomorrow it goes into the next day, which can go into a week. And you know how all that goes. If you've done this long enough, I'm sure this sounds familiar. I hope for you not. That would be my wish for you. But 
undoubtedly, um, you've been doing this a while. You, you're experienced in knowing what it feels like when you fall off the wagon. But the most important thing is if we do fall off the wagon, that we don't let it become a situation where we just don't get back on. You know, things are going to happen. And that is how life goes. So, what I'm interested in knowing is how you're doing on your plan. Because so far, my plan is going well, and I like to hope that yours is as well. We shall see what the scale says on Saturday. Um, I'm hopeful that it's a maintain, because this week, again, has just been, I would like to be able to eat every week the way I ate this week, in the sense of not... I don't want to say I'm not paying attention to points because I am aware of what I'm eating. You see my place. It's basically the way I was eating when I was on Slimmy World for the most part. Not entirely, but the, the meals, not the snacking, the meals. As well as pretty much when I was calorie counting and I was doing Nutrisystem Flex meals, as they call them, when you're not eating the prepackaged meals, you're eating your own food according to their formula. I think that my meals are basically healthy eating, to me anyway. Some people would beg to differ. But the snacking part, the night eating part, as I always say, is my big issue. And if I could find a way around it without getting around it, in the sense of in my head, having to change all these things in my head, um, that it just happens gradually on its own, through counting points, I'd be a very happy person. I, I'm going to try and do that. I'm just going to keep going the way I'm going. Hopefully the scale will be kind and my work this week won't just be, I don't want to say for nothing, but because I'm not going to come away from that scale feeling like it was for nothing. Because again, I said in the beginning it was going to be an experiment. And I think that there'll be some more experimenting as I go along with this. Um, a maintain would be great. At least that would give me some sense of I'm in the right direction. A gain, if it's a small gain, I'm not going to worry about it. Because keep in mind, tomorrow night I work. I will be eating dinner very late. And it's going to affect that scale. So I have to now change my way of looking at that scale. I'm going to be more focused. Probably I want to think on how my clothes are fitting at least in the moment, because it looks like I'll be working every Friday night. And Saturday meeting at 10.30 a.m. is about the only one that is realistic for me to attend, to attend on a regular basis. So I'm not going to start trying to, because of the scale and what the scale is going to say, going to different meetings that are not convenient, because that's not going to last. So um, that's about it. That's what I wanted to mention today. I hope that um, you're all doing well on your journey, whatever plan you're on. We're all in this together, that's definitely for sure, regardless of what plan we're on. We're all on the same mission to get healthier. Yes, we may want to lose weight for a wedding, but ultimately, if we are if we are people who have weight issues, we really need to get healthier. We need to focus on that. We could focus on getting thinner for a wedding, but I'm using that as an example. But ultimately, we want to get thinner to be healthier and to maintain our weight loss. We don't want to yo-yo diet. We want to have a real lifestyle change in terms of our eating, right? So, um, that's it for today, guys. Other than I want to ask you to please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already because subscribing really helps out my channel with this YouTube algorithm thingy. And um, if, my, if you get a notification you don't want to watch, there's... You're not held, your feet are not held to the fire. You can watch whatever you like. Um, it just would help me out. So I'm making that request on, for myself, if it's okay with you. And please comment because I am interested in knowing how you're doing. I am not caught up on my comments as of making this video, but I will be hopefully catching up with them by tonight. And um, sharing, if you know of anyone who might, be, might enjoy watching my videos, might get something out of them please share. I appreciate that very much too. So now you know how it goes. I'm going to ask you to please at least one good thing a day to take care of yourself. You should be doing many, many things. 
but you have to start somewhere, okay? If you are not even doing one thing, no excuses, no excuses for you. You have to start doing at least one thing and build, okay? And the other thing I want to do is wish you and your family many blessings, because let's face it, we all could use a blessing, right? Who can't? And I'm going to send you big, big hugs. And I'm going to say goodbye for now. And thank you very, very, very much for having watched this video. And I will see you in the next one very soon. Be well, my friends. Thanks again for watching.